<laughs> There's Hani. Hi. I just like being in my own videos sometimes. I have a lot of loves in this world, you know. Since we're all uh, just getting to know each other here, um, I might as well tell you the things in my life that I really love. Um, and that how that inspires me to create art. It might seem like, like well, how is this inspiration for art? But chill out, okay? I got you. I'll tie it all together in a big bow. One, food. Do I need to say anything else? Do I need I say more? Yes, I do need to say more. There's just something about the uh, uh, intimacy, about sharing a meal with somebody um, that I think is very human, is very communal. And um, I'm very inspired by that. And I think I'm very drawn to sort of art pieces, whether it be installation, performance, or just visual um, of uh, uh, meals, people sharing of food or uh, just food itself. There's just something about it. And besides, like, we all get inspired by food. We all look it up sometimes and, like, look for those recipes that really, like, give us something in our life, you know? Color. It is in everything I do. I think that when I'm walking along, the most likely thing that's going to make me stop and look is color bright splotches of color and you can see it a lot through my clothing you know the things I wear how I present myself it's all about uh color because color is emotion and sometimes you know you could you you see one color that's just so striking and beautiful that you immediately want to go home and you want to create something based off it you take a trillion pictures of it uh, it can be anything. It could be a leaf you found on the ground. It could be cabbages you saw in the store. Or uh, it could be meat that you saw in the store. <laughs> if, you know, you go with what I find inspiring. It could be the color of water. Um, it can be anything. And, you know, finding those pieces of color that just make your life go, Whoa! Art! And makes you want to create. I think it's it's great. The third thing is um storytelling um i think books especially being such a big part of my life i really get into a story of reading or writing i and if i really come to care about it then the first thing that i'm going to want to do is create art out of it and it also comes like when I create art and if there is no meaning behind it, it feels more empty enough that I feel like creating a whole world around it just so that I can justify why is this art? Why does this art exist? The fourth thing that I'm going to talk about is um, nature and science. I think that nature is this sort of expansive all around us thing that we all obviously we all need and I feel I've felt very connected to it because I've never had really like a childhood home or anything like that. And so I love learning about my my environment, anything around me, learning about all these things, bringing in science, bringing in these beautiful things that um, um, you see every day that's a part of the earth. I've never felt more at home when I'm like, than when I'm by the ocean or really taking in uh, the sky when I'm standing in a huge field and I see all these clouds or um, when you know I, I can be you know halfway across the world but the wind is blowing and the sun feels good and it's this sort of familiarness this this great joyous feeling that makes me want to try to create something that can capture that the last one which is um it's a little bit vague, but I'm, I'll just I'll just tell you about it. It's detail. Um, I get very transfixed by some, these little things that build up to create something big. Um, ever since I was little, you know, looking at the leaves in a tree and how it moves and the effort it would take to, to draw every single one of those things and to animate something like that. For me, like, it's, it's hard work, but it excites me. Like, the the tiny cells that the millions and trillions of atoms that make up 
like a strawberry and you you're the one that is holding this thing and it's made up all these intricate you know chemical reactions that just to create this this object in your hand and you you're you know you can take a bite out of it and you can appreciate all of the detail that goes into it and i think it's so beautiful those building blocks that create everything um and whenever i look closer and closer and i have this problem i zoom into everything i never like look out to see the big picture and that's less poetic stuff than just me my my bad camera work i think looking at this enormous amount of detail and, and associating that with how real something is how much life that it has me wanting to somehow be able to capture that detail in my own art um really comes through i think when i see something and really look at and zoom in and look at all those tiny little details that make it up it makes me want to create it because for me that's life and i want to create life and, and that that's what art is it's creating life with your bare hands